Mythic items in Fortnite have forever been some of the best things ever added to the game, but today we're going to do a tier list and see which one of those are the best ones ever added. Today, there will be six tiers that we'll be going across today. Yes, this is a glass of wine. Yes, it is 11 p.m. in Dubai. Yes, this is the video we're recording today. We're going to start a god tier, then amazing, then a decent mythic, then let your team have it because it's not that good, into why, like why has this been added to the game, into... Bra huh? and bra moment speaks for itself. There, there is a few uh, bra moments in here today. If you enjoy the video, consider using code Lucky in the Fortnite item shop, and you'll win your next game, 100% legit. Not legit. Alrighty, fun fact for you all at home: the first ever mythic added to the game, and I'm just going off of what I think is in my head. Right, uh, is the Thanos one. This is the first one we're going to be reviewing here on the list. Now, if you were there and actually got to play the original Thanos game mode, you would understand why this will go where it needs to go, and that's God tier. You destroyed everyone. They don't make Marvel movies like they used to make them. All right, this was the pinnacle of Marvel, and they made it into a mythic. Doesn't get better than that. That is God tier. Anyway, next. Next up, we got the the Mandal. That's the guy right there. Uh, the Mandalorian. I have a problem with this guy on the new season update when I got it. No one told me that the right click was going to jab you, and I took full damage and lost my first game. But it did feel good to have a nice sniper. It's got the thermal scope. The season itself wasn't exactly one of the greatest seasons. So yeah, I, I would say pretty cool. Mandalorian's cool. Yeah, Ambin sniper rifle, I think it was called. So I would actually put this into amazing. The prod thing was kind of cool, and I don't think there were many snipers going around back then. So so yeah, I think it's like the only mythic sniper we've ever had. It's pretty epic, if you ask me. Next up, we have the Mythic Sky Scar. Now this thing, man, oh. Mm. This was peak Fortnite. This was one of the best guns in the game. It was the Scar. It dealt more damage and it had a higher fire rate. It also came with the Grapple, who's also going to go very high ranking here. Are, are we kidding here? No, this one was incredible. I, I would actually put him into God tier. Like, I, the only problem with it is that control players were going crazy with this, and that was a problem, but man, Sky Scar, you... Come on, stop now. That thing's incredible. Next up, we got the Avengers map here. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what this one is. I think that's how you found the Avengers weapon. I'm gonna chuck this into Y because you should have just had your Avengers weapon when you started the game. Just ignore that one. I don't even I don't even remember that one. I barely remember that one. Next up, we got Batman Grappler. I think this is, yeah, it's Clab Mythic. It's when they had the Gotham City and Tilted Towers. This one was pretty cool. You got a little grapple glider after you used it. It, it was pretty good. Uh, that was hard to get moving, I think, in this season. Uh, the still shockwave grenades, I think. This was a couple chapters ago. Let me cook. Uh, I would, I would go far as to say decent mythic. Like the problem with it, it was that when you actually deployed your glider, you had a slow glider, so you could get shot quite easily, but it had good range. You could use it from pretty far away, if I remember. Pretty decent mythic, I, I would say. Next up, we got Bender's Ray Gun. Now this thing was a reskin of the normal Ray Gun, of which was already not that great. This one's going to go into Y, mainly because it's just a little bit lazy. This was already a mythic, and you just said, hey, Bender's mythic, put a sticker on it, and now it's a new... Uh, I see what you did there. No, no, no. That was just a little reskin. Next up, we got the Black Panther Mythic. I didn't really understand how this one worked. From memory, I believe if you took enough damage, it would reflect the damage or you would absorb damage. I didn't think it was that crazy. I don't remember even carrying it. So for that reason, I'm going to go on to let your team have it. Borderline Y here. Out of the Marvel Mythics that were going on, there were some good ones. And I don't think Black Panther was one of them. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Next up, we got the Org. I believe this one is the Ocean's Org. They knew what they were doing back then um yeah the, this one was this one was off the wall this one was crazy it was a two burst it was pretty good I, i'm gonna put it into amazing it wasn't quite the scar but it was it was pretty good next up we got captain america's shield yeah i don't know about this one it bounced off enemies which was cool but it was it was restricted only to the game mode so i don't think it was the best one in that game mode i'll say decent mythic like it was kind of cool but yeah wasn't super crazy next up we got the venom mythic this one was actually sick i actually really liked this I remember this season, Carnage season, chapter two, season seven or season eight, no season eight. I remember hitting like a few, good few clips with this and having fun with it. So I put this in amazing. I actually, I actually thought it was fun. Super frustrating to die to, but I, I thought it was sick. Next up, we got the Kits Charged Shotgun. I did not like the Charged Shotgun at the time it came out. This was the best one of it. I preferred the Spaz. But because it did come with a decent, you know, Shockwave Grenade Launcher, it did have that utility as well. I think I'm going to put him in a decent Mythic. I didn't love him. Next up, we got the Chitari Blasters, which are all like kind of packed into one here. I, I, I think it's kind of like a whatever Mythic. They all were just part of a game mode. So I'll just go into, uh, you know, 
to kind of let your team have it like they were okay it was cool part of the game mode but it was the jetpack it was the blaster and then the, the whatever the other blaster was let's be honest you were just trying to be thanos in that game mode if you didn't get thanos you left the game it's kind of what happened here i think everyone randomly someone got thanos who picked up the first gem so realistically if you had one of these you already hated playing the game so for that reason i actually gonna put them in bra moment because like it's just no it's going into why they're not bra there's 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 things in here that deserve bra this was just like it sucked that you got here now you this is what you do with endless chug jug now this actually wasn't that crazy the the chug jug like you know it didn't heal you over time it was an endless chug jug but it was a let your team have it i didn't want to carry the slot like someone else take it yeah it's cool to have a chug jug but you know i don't want to hold it i want to hold like an extra shockwave grenade you know what i'm saying so for that reason we're gonna go like let your team have it next up we got the invisible gauntlets these were kind of a cool idea i'd go as far to say like d let your team have it like it wasn't like you could do a few little cool things with it but they weren't that crazy realistically there were better iterations of it but they weren't the worst iteration of it we'll get to that in a second next up we got the transformer thing gun going off i go as far as to say decent bit of a charge up but i think it came with unlimited ammo right just a cooldown i'd say decent like a lot of a lot of, lot of damage going through there so i say so pretty decent. Next up, we got the, I believe this is the Darth Vader lightsaber that would, you'd throw. Hitting a Y here. Now, I, I'll, I'm actually going to review lightsabers at the same time here, because I think it's just like easy to get this done here now. Let's, let, let, let's talk lightsabers. This first image here represents when lightsabers first came to the game. They're going to go into decent mythic. I think they were really cool when they first came out. I remember when they came out. Chapter 2, Season 1, nothing was going on. Holy crap, we got Star Wars in the game. This is so sick. There's, there's uh, clone troopers right around like it's it's cool right there was a clip of mal lannon mccreamy fresh all like ganging up on this one guy and the guy goes full jetter mode and takes a 1v4 like that that when i think lightsabers i think of that clip it was cool and i remember like you know doing the full dash and killing a guy behind a wall like it was sick but that was a moment and the moment's done we don't like lightsabers anymore i don't know what it is so yeah when it, and then when this one came out and you can throw it it just didn't like it just didn't hit and that's why he's going why for that one specifically this gun I, i'm gonna be honest i don't even know what that gun is uh all right it's a block Foster rifle. So it's, it's, it's one of the rifles that uh, I'm imagining you got back in the season. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine it's just one of those things that you got with it all. So let your team have it. Like, sure, it, it probably didn't shoot straight. Deadpool pistols. Now, this, this is a personal one for me. I remember when these came out. I remember the hype behind Deadpool. I remember it being, holy crap, Deadpool's mythic are coming to the game. Oh my God, it's a dual wheel pistol. We haven't had dual wheel pistols in a while. Damage sucked, but they had a siphon ability, but they never got picked up. And I thought Fortnite would buff it because, hey, we've got this cool collab in the game and this is the collabs like weapons let's make the weapons cool and make them good so people want to watch the movie but these pistols on the hand these pistols suck uh i'm gonna chuck them on a bra moment because this one really pissed me off because they suck so bad next up we got deku smash i thought this was really dope like all the kamehamehas and and the uh the purple blast from jujutsu kaisen they're all pretty sick I, i'd put them all in amazing they, they were dope next up we got the the gauntlet kind of arms i let my team have it that, that's the definite response i'd have to that one that was kind of like not that crazy on the other hand though the other myth that dropped which was the ball thing i remember this was a bit griefy and competitive i think it wasn't in competitive towards the end of it but th that was like a pretty good item so i checked that into a decent mythic that that was actually pretty sick the mythic drum gun i'm gonna be honest i don't remember that being in the game that's right you got it off the island if you capped the island a couple seasons ago it's pretty good bit cringe if you're rocking it but i would still probably let my team have it because the drum shotgun wasn't that crazy it's good but the new drum that's in the game right now that's that's good Th this one not that good blaster rifle like it's a let your team have it it was a cool addition i don't want to downplay like you know when that was in the game it was like oh my god yeah clone troopers rifle and it's inaccurate to base up the movies like it was cool it was cool all right we're not gonna go why though that, that was actually cool next up we got this the the chrome rifles these were kind of cool like you know you upgrade over time i think you can get a mythic by upgrading or maybe only went to legendary i'm not sure no 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 yeah the, the queen dropped the mythic no i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken it was very good especially at war replacing so I, i'd have to put that a decent minimum it probably could go amazing because it was actually sick next up we have the uh sword rifle now if i'm not mistaken the king dropped this one it was kind of good i i'd put it at 
decent. I would still probably take it off my teammate, but it was like, you know, it had bullet travel time and it did the double explode, but it did headshot one shot though, which was crazy back then. So it was, yeah, it was pretty good. It, it, borderline amazing. I'd say decent. Like I still want it and not give it to my teammate, but it's not, it's not like, you know, at all costs. Batter ranks. I fail to remember too much of how these worked. Jeez, you know what's crazy? Like something's like five years ago. Batter ranks. I, I think they were let your teammate have it type of situation. They weren't amazing and they weren't that cool, but they, I think they made you detect the enemy, I think. Otherwise you just threw them and they exploded like grenades, but they weren't doing crazy damage. Same with this one, another blaster rifle. There's like three iterations of a blaster rifle here. It's always let your team have it. They were never that good. It was fun though to do challenges with them, but yeah, it's just, whatever kind of deal. Mythic Flapjack, these were in the vaults a couple seasons ago. They were a decent Mythic. They were decent. I, I wouldn't rank them as high as the uh, the Chrome Rifle. I think that was definitely better, but you know, it did the job and it was a, it was a good weapon to hold. It was like a drum gun AR hybrid. It's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Next up, this one's just got to go here. And, and dependent on like how this was in the season, these things were actually like insanely good at the time. You just got to run it how it is. The Sky Grappler was just insane. So you kind of just give it the credit what it is like it is god tier there was like no movement in this season it was insane it was one of those moments in the game where if you had the sky assault rifle and the sky grappler you felt like you couldn't lose the game like it was just an insane buff like you have the best rifle you didn't have i mean shotguns were still crazy but best rifle and best like movement like it was insane so yeah that's gonna go there Groot, i'd probably put him into let your team have it slash decent mythic it was pretty good for the heals but the movement on it felt kind of weird so i'll go let your teammate have it for it but it's still better than the black panther i would say uh, for sure. Mythic Havoc Shotgun. This was introduced after we hadn't had 200 pumps in a while, I think. So this was actually kind of very goaded. I'd put him into amazing. Just considering the context at the time, you couldn't one hit, at, uh, at least I think the season before. So this was like a big deal. None of the other Havoc Shotguns could one hit. This was the one that you needed to do it and you got it out of a vault. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure. So Mythic Havoc S Bro. This was a why. Like, come on, bro. It was a mythic AR that the henchman dropped, I think, that you would get the key card for. And it was like, why? This gun sucks. The guns, oh, that gun was never good. I think you could do an exploit where you slid and it would have zero accuracy penalty, but it still sucked. Yeah, no, that one was annoying. No, uh, we don't like that. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, okay. This is Hawkeye's bow. I remember hitting a few clips on this. So this one was again in the Avengers game mode. It was a decent mythic. I, I liked the addition to the game. I believe you could shoot and also grapple at the same time with the shot. I think I remember hitting a few cool clips with it. I, I actually liked it. I think the whole, everything in these game modes were, were, were cool, so. Can't knock that one. Next up, we got Meow School's AK. I didn't think it was that bad. And again, it's kind of like a little bit of nostalgia going on here because I just love this season so much. I'd go as far as to say decent mythic with my, you know, rose tinted glasses on. But realistically, it was let your teammate have it. You'd rock the AR. The damage spread just wasn't, you know, consistent. Me today, I would say I would decent mythic. Back then, I remember always letting my teammate have it. Next up, we got the Jujutsu Kaisen Ball. Again, I think this one's just got anime, like, sick vibes written all over it. So I'm going to chuck it into amazing. I just, lo I love Jujutsu Kaisen and that's why I'm chucking it into amazing. And we're still good. This thing, this thing sucked. This was like the, the mask thing. You turned into Wolverine at home, if I remember. Which Wolverine wasn't like great anyway, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit him in a bra moment here. Now I'll chuck him into Y. Like, I hope they've evolved Wolverine from, since then. I didn't get, I didn't get this one. Though. The Mythic Shoddy. This one, I want to say you got it from a island and it wasn't that good. Like getting the island thing. Yeah, I don't think it was that good. It was let your teammate have it. It wasn't decent enough to hold. You would still take the sharp tooth or the havoc. I forget which one we're in the game with at the time. Wasn't a bad shotgun, but wasn't there. Next up, now this one, I'm looking roast into glasses here. That's like where you just are heavily opinionated by nostalgia. And I'm just gonna be upfront with it. The Infinity Blade. Now I'm judging this as it launched and not and pre-nerf is God tier. All right, it's actually God tier. Sucks what they ended up doing to the thing. And I understand like what they had to do for competitive and you know, that, that was just ridiculous how they had it literally in tournaments where people were winning tens of thousands of dollars and someone's just going shing 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 shit he's on a killing screen oh my players. word that shouldn't have happened sing 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 but the get like it was so fun you, you do not understand the dopamine that would pay off when you hot drop the sword and you actually get to pull it out like you, you don't know what that's like if you weren't there is unbelievable and that's why it's god tier all right next up we have the iron man repulsors these were like 
you wouldn't pick these up. These are let your team have it. However, the Unibeam, bruh. The Unibeam low-key god tier. It might actually hit god tier. You went through walls, and I remember just cheesing everyone. I'm actually chucking it into god tier. These lightsabers came out, and I don't care about them, so they're going into Y, because I don't really know about them, and I don't really care about them, because after the first lightsabers came out, I just didn't care. Next up, we got Jules Glider Gun. So this is definitely a big downgrade from the original god tier grapple. I'd chuck it into Decent Mythic. It's literally the same thing as the bat glider. It, it wasn't like the glider. You just get beamed on the glider for that reason. There was no bullet drop back then, so you're getting beamed. It's that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, something from this season, which is the new Cerberus. So I'm, I'm doing both right now. So you get the pin and the shotgun and i'd actually chuck it into amazing like this shotgun is sick unreal damage only three bullets to the clip instead of the five on the extended even though it's mythic so that that holding it back a little bit but the fact that you get regenerative like zero point shift speed type of deal it's crazy i i think amazing is where you'd put this in next up with the uh kami yamama no i'm just kidding kamehameha this thing's gotta go god tier you gotta understand this transcends what they put in the game from a gameplay mechanic this is like they realized they had a dragon ball collab and they said hey let's put the kamehameha in the game and let's make it absolutely just sick that's a god tier that that is a god tier like and this was before this is the first one before the deku and all the other stuff so it's god tier then the, the fact that they made it so that if you both did at the same time it like clashed like nah it's, it's god tier it, it is what it is and they made it powerful because that's what it should be it's, it's kamehameha like come on now next up we got the ray gun yeah this thing is like heavily forgotten dig and choppy's ray gun it's a it's a let your team have it into a y next up we got teenage mutant ninja turtles i thought these were actually pretty cool collab overall was sick i i really liked them I, i'm gonna chuck them in a decent mythic I, I thought these were pretty sick when i did my challenge where i could only use them did that ever get uploaded it should have. I don't know if it did. Yeah, it did. It did. It did. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was good. I, I really liked it. Next up, we got the TNT bow from TNT. -na. No, this is the mythic mechanical explosive bow that you got from Raz in the middle. This was not. This was let your team have it. This drum gun was. There should be two drum guns here, but it looks like that there is only one drum gun in this list, which is inaccurate because there's two drum guns. There's Jules drum gun and there's Midas drum gun, and there are two. Two different drum guns. Let's just assume this is Midas's drum gun, because Jules' drum gun, who cares? This was pretty sick. I would go amazing. Like, you just gone through 25 body shot. I think it was 50 headshot back then, because I didn't tuck in the old headshot multiplier. Next up, you got Brutus's minigun. This thing was also crazy. It's definitely amazing. Borderline god tier. But yeah, the control players just went a little too crazy with it. I don't even know what this gun is. It's a mythic assault rifle that is an MK. Now, obviously this one's foundation and foundation goes into decent mythic. No, probably amazing actually. It was actually really good. But this one, I don't even remember really being a thing. This mythic one that wasn't that. For that reason, we're checking it decent. It was probably good, but I don't remember. Next up, because of the brand here, we gotta we gotta talk about brand. Mythic Goldfish, Fortnite were like, hey, one in a million chance. And I love that idea. So for that reason, it's God tier. It's something to like always be on the edge for. Oh, we're gonna get a Mythic Goldfish in this little thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, there's a chance, you know? So for that, we're going God tier. I think that's a great mechanic. I would encourage more of that. That was really cool. And then I remember my brother actually found one and like, well, he found someone catching one, killed the guy immediately, and then he got a banger out of it. So we love that. that that's a great thing. Gold Mushroom, I never really got it. And I don't think it was really in the game. I don't even know if it was Mythic. I'm going why here because why'd you take it out? Why'd you do that? I remember it was only in there for like a week or two. Why would we do that? Next up, we got the... I forgot what this thing's called and I apologize for that, but it's a decent Mythic. It, the Akimbo... I forgot what it's called. But you go up into the sky and it's a redeploy glider and we love that. So it's pretty sick. Next up, we've got the Attack on Titan Blades. Amazing Mythic. Nothing else really needs to be said here. These things are incredible. I thought that they at first were super overpowered. I think they nerfed them a little bit. Nah, these were sick. And like you can tell from the trailer coming out, it was like, oh my god, these are gonna be insane. Kunai things, these are gonna go into brow moment. I think they were just literally the worst thing collab that we've had for an enemy mythic. Weird too, because it probably made Fortnite crazy money, but these mythics sucked. I think everyone would agree about that. They didn't deal much damage. I think they might have revealed them on the map, but even then, I actually don't think they did do that. So for these guys, I'm gonna go bra moment. I, I think we could have done something better there. Next up, we got Alien versus Predator mythic. 
if this thing is gonna go into Y because I don't believe you could actually move while you did it, which is a big Y. Like, why, why did we do that? I know in future versions, we made it so that you could actually move while doing it, but for Aliens vs. Predators, I think we could have done something a little bit different there. Next up, I forgot what the shotgun's called, but this was actually a pretty good mythic when it first came out. If I have to say, it got nerfed though. So I don't know, it's hard to say which one I'm judging. I would say, I'll just go decent mythic because at one point it was good, but then after it was bad. Pulse rifle from the island. This thing was insane. I actually have to put it into the amazing category. You take walls like crazy. The pulse rifle was actually insanely good. Yeah, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Next up, we got the junk recycle. This thing was disgusting, if I remember. Yeah, no, it's going into a straight Y. Like, the first one sucked. No, it sucked. It was not good. It was not good. Next up, we've got the... What is this? Scoped Burst SMG, which I barely remember who even dropped that, but I remember not using it. So let's let your team have it because I don't remember ever really going for that, ever picking it up. I want to say it was like Gunner Dude or something. No, he dropped another one. But on that note, while I remember it, this suppressed SMG one that you got from the Inquisitor was also bad. So we're just going to leave him there as well. Not good. All right, next up we got the Hulk Smash thing. I remember hitting the craziest clip in this cup with my brother. I hope I can find it for this video. The thing is, if you clicked it uh, too far in advance, it would lock you in in your trajectory so that you couldn't adjust your aim. And I remember I hit this crazy like stun on someone. I, I really liked this. I thought this was kind of cool and it was really fun. I'd low-key put it into amazing because it was just fun. Like there was ways you could combo it into like just getting into builds and like just, yeah, they would be stunned, which I don't think as a mechanic really used much. I don't think you'd ever get stunned in the game. So that, that was cool. I, I really liked that. Gravity Hammer, I'm also going to chuck into amazing i just really liked the uniqueness of like you know incorporating the shock waves into like the actual hammer itself like from a design standpoint but also the gameplay mechanic of it felt super nice super clean for movement as well i, I can only say that's that's insanely goaded next up we're going the shockwave grenade launcher this one for me defines chapter two season three and i think for that reason it's god tier it was the item that you wanted above all items mainly because you wanted to hit thunder pumps and because you want to hit trick shots and it just very versatile using it to get like into walls and stuff like nah it's goaded it's, it's god tier i think my god tier lineup's looking pretty sick i think no one can disagree with my god tier lineup and you'd maybe argue i gotta add a few more from amazing up there the scythe the scythe sucked so we're gonna to go why the, the just it, it just didn't land next up we got the silver surfer this one's quite self-explanatory it was like sick you'd go up into the air and it was a collider redeploy we'll chuck it into decent it was uh, but you could cancel your glider replay but so could you with the cloud as well the nimbus cloud that's it yeah they're the same thing all right spider-man mythics we're gonna go both at the same time here although the og one was definitely better i think we're gonna have to go to god tier again this is a defining item of like a season it was the number one thing you'd carry all the time we're gonna chuck this one into amazing for some reason they just didn't hit as much the second time around I, I feel like we could all agree on that like the first time around was like oh my god spider-man the movement felt so clean so fluid second time was like uh, okay i guess we're doing this again yeah i don't know maybe i'm wrong with that that's just how i felt these boots i see what they tried to do here they tried to do the mario triple jump but it just didn't land so we're actually going to hit a honorable bra moment here for this one the, it, the most forgotten mythic also the way to get it was so cumbersome you had to like bring one of these things from one of these like spire towers to the middle, put in a furnace. I don't know, it was cooked. Gunner's SMG, this one was actually pretty sick. It had hard recoil though at first and then they nerfed it, no, buffed it down the line. I'm gonna put let your team have it, but later down the line, you could argue for decent mythic after they removed the nerf. But uh, the, for the longest time, people know it as the one that just made your screen go up. So the tornado, I barely remember how this one even functions. I never ran it in game. So for that reason, I'm gonna go let your team have it. I don't remember that really being that epic this thor axe which is now a pickaxe in the game this was a part of that game mode as well we're gonna chuck pretty much all these into decent mythics i, I, I thought it was pretty cool like i don't know uh next up we got the jujutsu kaisen pins these were pretty dope i would say these were decent i thought the idea of what they took to make into a mythic was cool damage was a little lackluster but yeah it's 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 in there it's in the conversation next up we have the jetpack from mandalorian if i remember it's an unlimited jetpack so that's pretty cool decent mythic i remember rocking a few times for trick shots and whatnot dmr rifle i think you got it from one of the bosses in the like vault season i don't think it was that crazy i would always let my teammate have it borderline why with that one i don't think it was that crazy 
Same for this DMR rifle, whatever the hell, thermal scope. We ain't ever rocking that. Yeah, you best believe. The Thor hammer. The Thor hammer was actually sick. I'd low-key put it into amazing because you'd call it upon somebody and they'd actually have to like get their situation sorted out real quick. Yeah, man. Marvel season was actually such a W. Damn. Next up, continuing on Attack on Titan. They got the Titan Spears, which were not that great at first, but then they got buffed and then they came a little bit better. I would say these were pretty decent down the line. I go decent. They're like next to these like cursed nails from Jujutsu Kaisen, like decent. Like they, I think they ended up doing damage behind walls at some point. So they're pretty good towards that end. I don't know. I just got like, I just, I just love the anime. So like, yeah, bias a little bit. The TNT bow, this thing was the, probably one of the worst ones in the season that came out. So it's definitely let your teammate have it. I know that there was a strategy to use heavy sniper and combat combination with it in competitive that made it worth using because it didn't have ammo it recharged but it just wasn't that great in actual games of Fortnite and it didn't feel fun either the original legendary bow that came out was better than this next up we got the next anime mythic which was the frost claw thing which you could use for defense kind of more zero build type of deal but I actually didn't mind it I would go decent mythic because I thought it was pretty fun to try and kick people off builds and I killed a few people that way so I thought it was Pretty cool. Next we have the Venom Mythic. Same one really as the Carnage one up here. Like it, they, they functioned the same if I'm not mistaken. So I'll put that one there. Same same as this one. These were both the same, the symbiotes. All three of them were the exact same thing. They were all sick. Uh, the Witch's Broom, we're putting into Decent. It was the same as the, the, the Silver Surfer and the Nimbus Cloud. They both did the same thing. Wolverine, I actually did like this one. I thought this one was pretty cool. You could do some decent combination slashes. So I'll, I'll go with Decent Mythic here. All right, then we're coming up to the Chapter 4 Mythic. So these ones are be quite easy first off with the box this one's bra moment i can't believe they I, I get it like we had snake as a collab skin let's you know do a box let's make it mythic let's change nothing about it let's make it literally the box and just put like that on the front of it i thought they were gonna do something cooler with it yeah it's it's a bra moment you've reskinned a, a green weapon and called a mythic like Cool, congratulations, uh, here we are. This on the other hand, the, the uh, EMP thing was low key kind of cool. I, I kind of liked it. I'll put a borderline decent mythic. Realistically, I let my teammate have it, but it was kind of cool. Like you could, you could in zero builds use it to like meta play and break shields sometimes in a car. And, and it, ha it had some use, not a lot, not a lot, but some use. Next up, we got these with that are in combination with the medallions. So the medallions bring them all up for their function but this one wasn't great the one out of here i don't believe you even got that rifle you still for the whole season got the other rifle even though it shows this rifle unless i'm mistaken but i would pretty much always let my teammate have it because that rifle wasn't wasn't the greatest final weapons the smg i did not love it i'll go let my teammate have it from last season didn't really love that the fencing field scar though that was incredible amazing love that gave me the sky scar OG vibes, but not quite there. Next up, we got the two shotguns. Now, this is a bit controversial. They're both amazing. Now, realistically, this one sucks, but it's amazing because it was actually still too good of an actual thing to not carry. So for that reason, it's amazing and you can't really you know, fault that one for it. Uh, the SMG from Hades is kind of decent, but you have to factor in the siphon and so for that reason it's amazing because it's siphon nothing here gives siphon except that you'd argue it might be amazing honestly last three from this season this one comes in with multiple damage buffs to your whole loadout so for that reason it's really going to be amazing as well like the mythics this season they've, they've cooked this one's an early call but the zeus one here the weapon i put into amazing as well i'm gonna let that one cook a little bit that one could go down over time but i think that one's crazy and this is the Real crazy one. I know it's early, but I actually think that the Zeus Mythic will go down as a god tier weapon. And I'm not going to lie, I'm looking at my god tier and I love it. I, I don't think anyone can fault me on that god tier. The god tier is the god tier. And I think I've done a flawless list. I'm not going to lie. Let me know. Comment section down below. Have I got something wrong? I don't think I did. And if I did, well, that's just too bad. I think maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles could probably go amazing. And that's probably where we're at with this. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let me know what you guys think. Comment section down below. Code lock if you want to support me as a creator. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.